Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got something a little bit different, but definitely exciting. I basically went to Tesco, food shopping with my mum, went upstairs to the FNF home section and was literally shook. Their clothes were incredible. Um, like they looked amazing. It was giving me proper Zara, ASOS vibes. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna have to buy this. So I did spend quite a bit. Um, I spent about hundred pounds on their clothes and I thought how fun would it be to do a testing out the F&F &F clothing range with you because I feel like it's very underrated I remember back in lockdown people were saying like go here it's the new Zara obviously all the clothing shops were shut but Tesco was still open so a lot of people were getting their clothes from there and it's just super affordable like honestly guys the prices of some of the stuff in here you guys are going to be so 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 shook about this is going to be a try on haul as well so I am going to be putting on side by side clips of me trying on the outfits so you guys can see what they look like on me I'm so so excited let's delve into this bag of like autumnal goodness can we just like you can just tell from the colors let's face it Tesco hasn't got the like most appealing looking bag but what's inside is amazing first thing I've got to share with you is probably my favorite thing that I bought um, and again was such a steal and it is this absolutely gorgeous beige brown colored jacket so this is what it looks like it's got cute little brown buttons it's got pockets on the front and the best part about this is it's also got side pockets so you can obviously put some bits and bobs in there put your keys put your phone whatever you want the shacket trend was so in last year and I am literally here for it this year because it's everywhere you guys know I bought quite a few Zara shackets last year and as amazing as they were and as amazing quality and I still wear them now they were quite expensive I think one of my Zara shackets my tartan one I paid about 60 pounds for and the other one I paid 50 pounds for so you know you're talking quite a bit of money I picked this up in Tesco for 25 pound which is literally like half the price I love it the material amazing it's like that perfect kind of in between between a jacket and a shirt I guess relatively lightweight but it's definitely going to keep you warm and I feel like it's a perfect autumn transitional fit I styled mine with some leather leggings um, and like cool like lace-up boots Doc Martens Chelsea boots something like that I feel like it would be such a vibe you could put like cool scarf with it or a hat or something if you want to wrap up a bit more I just absolutely love this so much I think it's so nice I love the tone of it as well it's a really gorgeous color um, I haven't seen one this color you see a lot that are very oatmeal kind of like gray white black but I haven't really seen any of this colour so I thought it was quite unique. They had a bunch of like pink ones, blue ones, oatmeal coloured ones. There was a really really similar one to my Zara one and I had a lot of questions on my Zara one last year. A lot of you guys were asking like where it was from, if I could do a link, stuff like that and unfortunately it did sell out but there was a super super similar one in Tesco for £25. I got this one in a size medium. Um, I'm typically a small but I feel like with jackets I always like to size up. I did feel like a medium was definitely perfect for me. If you do like it slightly oversized I would definitely size up with this but really really chuffed with this and I think it's great for £25. Next we've got some loungewear um, because what would autumn be if we didn't have a bit of loungewear. So these are a pair of big loungewear floaty trousers um, and they're in this gorgeous kind of like mild grey colour. So guys honestly I do you know this is when I wish that you could like feel materials through the camera because this feels so beyond soft like such good quality. I got a set like a ribbed um, like really soft knit set from Boat Avenue for my birthday. My boyfriend got it for me and this literally feels the same. So for these cute trousers they were £12.50. I got these in a size UK 10 um, and they fit perfect. Obviously you guys will see from the trying clips how they fit. They are quite long to be fair so if you're a bit short legged um, I probably would size down um, but I do really like them. Obviously it's got a nice elasticated waist so it's super super comfortable and I just feel like it's perfect for this time of year because again it's kind of like that transitional fit. I feel like if you really wanted to you could definitely get away with wearing this out as well. Like if you just wanted a nice comfy casual outfit to like go grab McDonald's on Sunday when you don't really want to leave the house but you kind of have to. I feel like this is a good outfit. So I just absolutely love it. I love the colour. The material is so soft and again just amazing for £12.50. Next thing I got is a gorgeous v-neck chunky knit jumper. So you guys know that I'm all about the v-necks. I feel like although I'm like not wearing a v-neck right now I wear a lot of v-neck stuff. I don't think I do it purposely. I just think like I'm drawn to like v-neck styled things um, and obviously this was no exception. 
So this is what it looks like, um, if I, you know, show you the front, because I'm sure that's what you actually want to see. So it's got a gorgeous V-neckline here, um, and then again, it's this gorgeous kind of like lightish mild grey. Similar to the trousers, it is a mild kind of pattern, but it's slightly lighter, obviously it's not as dark as, say, like my, um, like chunky knit cardigan that I've got on here that's grey. just absolutely love this. I got this in a size 10, because it is quite oversized. You guys will see from the try and clips that it is relatively oversized, so if you want something that's a bit more fitted, I probably would size down with this. However, but I think it looks really really nice oversized you guys know I'm a massive fan of oversized things um again I feel like with leather leggings or leather trousers boots um like converse you could wear it with um like air force ones I just feel like with a jumper like it's one of those things that I feel like you need for every year like they are such an autumn winter staple in my wardrobe and I literally live in jumpers and hoodies throughout the winter I couldn't help but not pick this one up it's so soft again the material is lovely I feel like the camera is kind of picking up the material oh flip myself in the eye I just absolutely love it it's slightly balloon sleeved as well and this one was £18 so it's a little bit more expensive but it's a chunky knit material so it's definitely worth it I think. I then fell in love with these sweater vests in there. Now I love them so much I got them in two colours. I just love a sweater vest and I couldn't, I bought a couple last year but I didn't really pull them off um, but I really like this style um, I think it's really really nice. So this is what it looks like, this is obviously the neck, obviously I'll just like roll this down just for the purpose of holding it up but you've got your chunky knit here and then it's got this really gorgeous chunky knit pattern um, so this is obviously the cream colour and then like a sweater vest it cuts off here on the arm and then it kind of goes in and then you've got a really nice kind of like cut detail here so it sort of slits at the bottom now what size did I get these in? I got these in a UK small um, again I found that these came up quite oversized in the shop when I was kind of like holding them against me I felt like a small would fit really well and I feel like when I tried them on you guys will see from the try and clips I do feel like a small was the right decision although I do still feel like a medium like I could pull a medium off with this I think the great thing about sweater vests is they're kind of like that whole grabbed your granddad's sweater vest jumper vibe so they're kind of meant to be a bit oversized um and these naturally are quite an oversized fit but I definitely to be honest I think I could have got a medium in both because I feel like that still would have looked quite cool I paired mine up with a long sleeve black t-shirt underneath um just because I felt like that was like the best way to style these you could wear like any color really I think I had a new look one on but I've got a couple of different like high neck tops from H&M and things like that um anything really that I feel like you can just layer underneath because obviously sweater vests are perfect for layering i just absolutely love this pattern it's gorgeous now how much was this one so for some reason there isn't actually a tag in there so i must have taken that one out but these ones are 16 pounds each which again i thought for a sweater vest wasn't very bad um and i thought i'd just show you this color so this one's like a really gorgeous like burnt orangey brown um again it's the same sort of style you've got that like chunky knit feel um and i just absolutely love this like the quality of this stuff guys is really really good i would really recommend you guys go and take a trip to tesco if you can if you're out food shopping have a little look in my local Tesco all of our clothes are upstairs um, and there's a massive clothing section they had so many lovely bits I could have easily spent another like 50 quid on stuff because they had loads of gorgeous dresses they had loads of like jumper dresses as well hoodies loads of like casual stuff and I feel like what I picked up is very transitional um, but I think come into the winter months when we're more into like November December they're definitely going to get more in um, but I just absolutely love the style of these I just think they're so nice so flat and they had such gorgeous colours. I think they had a grey as well, but obviously I felt like these ones were a little bit more autumnal, so I decided to pick these ones up. So that was everything I decided to get from the FNF section in Tesco. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun testing this out. I'm 100% so impressed with everything that I got as well. The quality is 10 out of 10, and to be honest, I feel like there's such a focus on labels nowadays in the sense that when you buy like a jacket or you buy a jumper, if it's labelled by like like a like approved brand I guess like from society you know like H&M or Zara people immediately love it and I feel like it's so important not to cancel out others like I've just got clothes from a supermarket brand and they are all amazing quality and they look amazing and they do genuinely fit in with the high street fashion that other stores are doing and I love it so much so I would highly recommend you guys have a look 
I cannot wait. I'm absolutely buzzing to be wearing all of my autumn stuff. Um, I feel like I've definitely like branched out my winter wardrobe this year and I've got a lot of autumn and winter stuff and I'm so excited to wear it all. I feel like you guys need to be following the gram because there's going to be some cool pictures, some cool outfit pictures this year. They're always linked down below in my description box. Um, so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, make sure to do that. Of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, do remember to give it a big thumbs up and of course click that subscribe button if you're new because it's really lovely to have you here. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you all very, very soon in another video. Bye! Bye!